Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. My name is Julie and we're just gonna get right into it today. Y'all, we are decluttering. I've been decluttering my whole house and today I'm working on my buffet over here in the living room and going through a bunch of stuff that just does not need to be in there anymore. So I hope to get you inspired to do some decluttering and organizing for the spring as well. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, y'all, so here is where I'm going to declutter the buffet cabinet that I have. What I keep in here is all of my sewing stuff on the ends. Like there is my sewing machine and the sewing machine pedal and just some different things like that and some little air freshener that's not supposed to be in there. But on my buffet on the top, I have this little cabinet here and I have this basket here. And I think I'm going to put my fabric in this basket and use this up here to put ribbon and stuff like that. I used to keep fingernail polish in this one, but I've since emptied all of that out and got rid of it because we never reached for those. We never used those. Here on the top is where we normally keep a lot of things that we grab for all the time or that we might need frequently. But as you can see, it has turned into a hot mess express there's just things in here that don't need to go in here we normally try to keep like cell phone chargers and extra cases and things like that um, little chargers and all that but underneath here there is just a lot of empty boxes i am really really funny about not throwing boxes away to electronics so i have a lot of empty boxes that i think i'm going to store out in my storage shed so i have like um, security camera stuff just a bunch of paperwork for my printer different little things over there i don't know it's just you see it it just kind of becomes a catch-all and then in this drawer we used to be well I say used to be it is currently housing you see a ton of empty boxes again for like all of our old eye products um, iPhone products earbuds things like that iPads and then there's a bunch of things in here like for the kids but I have moved all of their stuff to the end cabinet in my hall and so i might try to move these there as well so i need to just declutter this get all these empty boxes i don't like to throw these Over away here is where i keep like here's my sewing box and everything literally just falls out of here right now and here is just a bunch of material let me try to brighten this up so y'all can see a little better but um yeah it's just kind of gotten shoved in there and i have not went through all of this in forever so i need to go through there and get rid of some things there's some stuff in here from when like elizabeth was in 4-h and used to sew little things and i used to sew her little dresses and all but i mean there's just a bunch of stuff in there that i need to go through okay, and what i like to do when i declutter a space is i pull everything out so i will take every thing out of this and I think I will probably just put it over here on the living room floor because then I'm forced to go through it because it's in my living room floor right in our walkway where we all come through so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to pull everything out and start going through the stuff that I want to keep and boxing up the things that I want to put in storage like all of our boxes for our iPhones, iPads, earbuds, things like that that I don't want to get rid of, but they're just in here taking up space, and I have a whole storage building outside that I can put things like this in, so I think that's what I'm going to do, so let's get busy decluttering this buffet cabinet here in my living room. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do while decluttering this buffet is one cabinet at a time. Since both of the end cabinets here have to do with my sewing, I'm gonna start with this end and go through that, and then I'm gonna go through the other end since it's also sewing stuff and get that taken care of. And then since both of the middle drawers are like electronic type stuff, I'll go through those after I'm finished decluttering and organizing all of this area. So let's get busy with all of this material and get this thing decluttered and cleaned out. I think I'm gonna feel so much better when this is done. I keep putting it off and I'm actually going to time myself. I mean, I'm going to time myself because I want to see how long it takes me to do this start to finish. So hopefully it encourages you to tackle something because it's really not as bad as it probably seems like it is. I'll keep in mind that I have to move the tripod and stuff around. So I'm going to allow myself a few minutes for that. So let me start this clock here. 
um, not clock, this little stopwatch thing, and let's just see how long it takes me to do this project start to finish. This is some scrap pieces I used in my kitchen, so I want to hang on to those in case I can't find any more of this material. I like to have a little extra. And I always have a lot of burlap. <laughs> always. And then now we're getting down to stuff that I don't even know. I think this was stuff from Kelsey's baby shower. This is scrap pieces from Elizabeth 4-H. You can see the little horse, the little horseshoe. She was all into horses and stuff. Anyway, yes, I definitely need to go through this material. Oh my goodness, I didn't even know all this was in here. Wow. Yes, I made an apron out of this material. I took like a sewing class here locally. Proceed anybody? So here is the basket where I'm going to be putting all of the material that I'm keeping because I would like to have these open down here, these cabinets down here. Let's see if I can get y'all back down here. Hold on tight spaces. I don't know what I want to put in here. I want something that's really that I use all the time so that I can just swing open the door and get to my stuff. Maybe some of my camera stuff. I don't know. Let's go get this pile of material condensed down to only things that I'm going to use. So it shouldn't take long so let's go see. dress y'all Elizabeth made this dress in 4-H isn't that so sweet she made it for her American Girl doll these tie like around the neck so cute goodness I had forgot about this I thrifted this a while back at a Goodwill and it has the cutest little patterns on it I'm definitely keeping that because that looks like so country cottage. Let me show y'all real quick. Look at all the little different designs on this. This will be so cute in a frame. And I have used a few pieces of it somewhere because I've cut it. I can tell I used it somewhere. So I'm going to keep this piece. I think it's too cute. And then I have this sheer curtain and this little lace curtain in here. Because in my kitchen window, I used a lace curtain to go over the screen. And it's really cute. I have it... Um, on my thrifting channel. I think it's in my kitchen makeover video. I showed how I did that. But so I like to keep these to use for that because on our back porch, we have a couple of screens that my cat every now and then tries to put her little claws in and tear up. And I can, whoops, sorry, I'm hitting y'all. Um, I can kind of put these on that screen. And for some reason, she don't like it when these are on there. It kind of keeps her from doing that. And plus, um, the windows are covered because it's on my back porch. So I keep these just for that, like little scrap pieces for that. So a little tip there, if you have a cat that likes to claw on your screens, that might help, you know, be a deterrent from for them. At least it is for mine. She don't like it, and I don't know what it is about the lace. And this, I got this at like a thrift store, and I've just kind of cut on it to do the one in my kitchen. So I'm going to hang on to those in case, of, <clears throat> excuse me, in case those other ones tear up and I really need to replace them now this piece here i think it's beyond i have way too much drop cloth now i love this little tick and strap material i made some pumpkins out of this one year and it was so cute so i'm gonna hang on to this because i really love this print and like i said i used a lot of this material in my kitchen when i did my kitchen makeover um and that's on my thrifting channel so i definitely want to hang on to this material in case i need to replace some of that and then I think I'm going to keep this too so all right so I went through all the material that I'm going to go put this in my little hope chest and keep that little thing that Elizabeth made I don't know how that ended up in there but let me show you this is where we're at on time 12 a little over 12 minutes so far um I did cut some of the footage out just so y'all didn't have to sit there and watch me for about eight minutes of going through a lot of that material but now that literally only took me like 12 minutes. So now I'm going to put the material that I'm keeping in that basket. And then I might go through my little sewing box here. This may be what I put back in there. I don't know if I'm going to go through this or I guess I am. Here I go. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, the bag was open and the buttons just fell out. That's wonderful. All right, so very quickly, I'm going to go through the little tray. Just real quick, there's everything that's on in here, basically, I want to keep. Except for, like, I don't know, some little tiny, like, here's a tiny little piece of Velcro that just needs to go in the trash. But, like, a bunch of different little bobbins and stuff, and I know I don't want to get rid of this. Um, there's a bobby pin in here, so we're going to get that out. But a lot of this other stuff, I'm just going to keep it in here. Little embellishments and... I'm not sure why I have all these rubber bands in here, but I'm going to leave them. And I'm trying to get all the little, I'm trying to get all the needles and make sure I put them in a pin cushion or something. Because there's nothing like grabbing for something and getting stuck by a needle. They're just, you know, it's not fun. Right, I'm just going to kind of put this back in here. No fancy way. I just try to keep all of this in here in case I use it. I don't use this stuff very often. But when I do, I like for it to be, you know of neat. I don't have a whole lot. So now it's better than it was. And let's see how long it's taken me now that I went through the fabric and the little sewing box. So we're at 17 minutes. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know if my camera's wanting to focus. So here is my get rid of pile and there is my keep pile. All right, I think I'm gonna start with the heaviest first and put the burlap here on the bottom. And I've tried to kind of keep all like items together. I've got all the burlap, put them on the bottom. Not burlap, what is that? I keep calling it burlap drop cloth, not burlap. I don't know why I keep calling it that. All right, so there's that. And then, I'm going to keep this blue because this makes a pretty, like if you put it on a table and then put like a lace tablecloth over it, you can kind of see the blue. And I thought, well, that might be pretty, you know, if anybody's having a shower or even for 4th of July Memorial Day, that looks real pretty to do a little table setting with, with that underneath. I think that's kind of how we did it at Kelsey's baby shower. So we're going to tuck those in there. I'm going to keep this one. It looks bright on camera, but it's like a mustard yellow for the fall. And then I'm gonna keep this just because I really like it. And same goes for this. I just like the little ticking stripe. So I'm gonna keep that little piece there. And then these, of course, are for my kitchen. So I wanna keep those handy. And I'll put those on this side. And I think I'll put this little thing of stuffing over here because I'm getting pretty full. Close that side up and open this side. And hopefully I can fit, yeah, this is kind of broke, it's okay. Here's some more um, batting that I might use for a project. I just like to keep it with my material. And then here's the two little lacy curtains that I decided to keep in case I need them. And then this little sheer curtain I'm gonna keep for screens. So there's all of that, and that looks really good. And then we'll put this back over here and style the stuff on top of it. And because this is not stuff that I reach for hardly ever, <laughs> um, and if I do, I'll just take the stuff off of the top. But in the meantime, it's being used to store things, so it's a useful decor piece also. Okay, just for reference, it took me 24 minutes to do that side. I, why do I feel like it didn't take me that long? But it did. But I'm having to move equipment around and stuff too. So it can probably take off about five minutes for equipment moving. But let's work on this other side now. I don't think it will take as long because um, it has the sewing machine in here taking up a lot of space. And it's pretty organized. So let's pull this stuff out. And I may be able to just sit right here and organize this. We'll see. And this is just a bunch of ribbon. I don't even know why I have so much ribbon, but I'm gonna put these straight pins in there with my sewing kit real quick. Um, I really don't know what is happening right here, y'all, but apparently Elizabeth had her a project going, so we're gonna get rid of that. <laughs> and this, I believe, I probably had, yeah, for my Christmas stuff, but I must've wanted to keep the buffalo check ribbon. 
yeah. with my arts and well no, I'm gonna leave it in here it's a little like um I don't know if you can put like fabric on a chair or something those little nails so I think I might put these in my sewing kit I'll keep that stuff all together this is to the sewing machine oh I must have got this for Christmas one year or something I forgot that it was even in there I taught myself to crochet well look at there I need to get this out and check it out and then just I think we were making a little before Raya was born a little something on his onesie so the only other thing left in here is my sewing machine it looks like and some spray adhesive which I'm just gonna leave in here because it's not hurting anything oh and this easy tack stuff here I'm just gonna keep this in here um but let me see what's in here I'm kind of nervous oh my hold on oh I don't even know what all's in here so this is gonna probably take just a minute Oh, I know. This is a bunch of patterns. So some of this can just go over in my sewing kit. Y'all look, I made this. Um, this is a cute idea for y'all. I made this in our um, little sewing class I took probably about 10 or 15 years ago. You use a pot holder and it has this little thing on it. You sew a button right here, which mine has fell off. And you sew these little Ziploc bags in there to organize your sewing stuff. Isn't that cute? I was so proud, y'all, when I made that. I'm never getting rid of it. I'm keeping it. Now, all these patterns, I think I would just leave in here because I don't like to get rid of patterns. And some of these are sentimental, like these. Like these, I made Elizabeth a whole bunch of dresses like this. Um, and then, look, here's some of her doll patterns she was, when she was sewing. Just so cute. So I think I'll keep these, but I think I will only keep patterns in here and maybe my sewing book. So that'll keep that organized to just patterns. Put that back in there. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all this ribbon. Um, sorry, my nose is running. I'm gonna put all this stuff over here with my sewing kit, including these and these. And this is liquid stitch. I'm gonna put this back here with the spray stuff. Okay, so now I gotta try to figure out what I'm gonna do with all of this ribbon. Um, I could probably just stack it back in here. Let me see if there's anything in here that I probably will never use. Oh wait, what is this? This little Velcro stuff. I'm gonna put that in my sewing kit. Okay, I've been decluttering and cleaning my whole house. I'm just now getting to the living room though. So I have a, I've been um, changing out a lot of my storage things. So this was in my craft cabinet. You see it has paint brushes on it. I'm gonna take it and see if I can use this for um, this ribbon real quick. See if it'll all fit in one thing real quick. So let me see if I can, some of this stuff I don't even know why I'm keeping. But anyway, it all fit in this one container. So I'm gonna try to slide this in here. Maybe I'll put that over there with the sewing machine. Slide this ribbon in here. Okay, y'all. So, to do both cabinets, so far it's taken me 36 minutes. I'm going to turn this um, timer off because I have to stop for just a minute and go get Elizabeth some lunch. She's home sick from school today. So, we need to take care of that. Okay, y'all. We are still at... Here's where the timer stopped. I'm just gonna hit start again and start on this drawer here. This is the one I'm dreading the most. It has like all electronic type stuff in it. And then I have this box here that I'm gonna use to put <clears throat> all of our apple boxes in to put out in our storage. So I'm gonna set this here just so that I can stack those in there neatly but i'm going to start on this drawer i will probably speed this up for y'all because it, it could take a while so i just wanted you to kind of see the before we have like old phones in here tons of old cases um uh, that actually i think goes to this cabinet so it's just a bunch of stuff so i'm going to go through here and try to weed some of this out and make this look nicer but leave things in here that we actually need and use also so i'm going to put this to music and let y'all just kind of Watch this sped up a little bit. OK, 
okay, I was trying to figure out what this is. These are a bunch of old computers that have just crashed. This is the cords to them. So I'm pretty sure these can go. I have not um, taken care of the, um, oh, what do you call it in the computers that you need to take care of before you, you know, get rid of them. But my nephew's supposed to be doing that for me. So I think I'll just put these with those computers until he can do that. Cause they're just taking up space in here for no reason, none. Okay, so this is all stuff to my printer that's in like our school room and office. So I think I'm gonna put this in there so it's close to the printer. Makes sense, doesn't it? Didn't even know this iPhone was in there. I don't know why I keep all these old iPhones, y'all. I don't know. I feel like what if something happens and we are in an emergency situation and we need them? So yeah, I will probably hang on to it. Okay, so this is a smart plug and I need this for Elizabeth's room so she can use it to control her lights and stuff without having to get up or out of her chair or something. I just think that this will be beneficial for her if we can figure out how to use it. Is that too bright? I hope y'all can see that. So anyway, I'm gonna try to get this out so we can use that. Oh my goodness, y'all look at these old iPods that my daughters got when they were like 13. My dad bought them. These little, and we still have them. Y'all, I'm curious to see if they even work. Look at the plug, how like old the plug is. That's hilarious. I'm putting those with the phones. See, I did try to organize this before because I have this cord marked Kindle because I do have a couple of Kindles in here. Some more blocks. I mean, you name it. I've got it in here. Um, hmm. I wonder where the plug-in thing is for the Garmin. Oh, here it is. Found it. Yay. Okay, so I've got the drawer empty. Now I'm going to vacuum it real quick and start to put things back in here. I think I'm going to go get a couple of those little bins that are empty that I've cleaned out of other rooms and try to organize this a little bit better. Um, I think I can go ahead and put all of these boxes in here from this other drawer and start getting it cleaned out too. So... Here comes Piper to check things out, but she's probably about to run off because I'm going to vacuum this really quick. She don't like the vacuum cleaner. Here's your warning. I'm thinking this one may not be as bad because a lot of those empty boxes can go in here. And a lot of the kids stuff I'm going to put in the wardrobe cabinet at the end of the hall or in the guest bedroom where I put all of their toys the other day when I did a big declutter. I pulled a bunch of their toys out of my living room, um, our school room slash office. They had, the grandkids had toys everywhere. So I have all of their toys kind of designated to two spots. So I'm thinking I might move these there also. Um, we are at 45 minutes just in case you're wondering. So let's carry on without wasting any more time. And this is a big HDMI cable and we do need to use this sometimes for a DVD player in the back. So I'm gonna try to figure out how I can roll this thing up so it's not just crazy everywhere. It's really, I mean, it's a good one, but it's really annoying that it's just so big. So I may try to find like a zip tie or something that I can put around that. Or wait, maybe I can just do it like this. I'm not really sure why I have three Kindles, but Kelsey's been telling me that she wants one. So I'm gonna give one of these to her. Okay, and I keep some some of my camera stuff in my office area. So I think I'm gonna put Elizabeth's water camera in there with all of the camera supplies, all of my camera supplies, because it makes sense to keep them all in the same space. And again, I don't know. I usually am really good about trying to label this stuff but I'm not really sure what this is even to. Okay, so I at least did write on this one. Um, it goes to the little InnoTab toy. So I'm gonna put that over there with that. Oh, and you know what? So I bet this goes to, yes, it's, it's on the back is why I didn't write. It goes to one of these, a little TV over here that I'm putting with the kid stuff. So that's what that is. I'll be sure and tab that too. And then, so I need to try to find chargers for all of these Kindles. I don't know where they would be 
if one of those things over there is that. So I'm gonna try to find those and then put things back in here um, that I want back in here. So I really did kind of condense this one down a lot, you know, besides the cat. So she's about to freak out because I'm about to vacuum it out. But I always give her like a little warning shot first. So I'm gonna put back in here what I want, put everything back over at the buffet, and then show y'all what everything looks like when I'm completely finished. Let me show you the empty boxes of all of the things that I want to keep. If you ever want to resell those, having the boxes and everything, it's a really good idea. So I'm going to keep these in our storage building that's outside and just label the top so we can have these if we ever need them. Okay, y'all, I left the timer going the whole time I was putting other things where they needed to go. The only thing I didn't get put where it needs to go is I need to put this in my hope chest and I need to go put all of these out in our shed just need to put the lid on that and i need to label that is why i didn't haven't put that out there yet and then there's a few things here i need to ask my husband about we are at a little over an hour y'all i'm so thankful to be done with that so let me show you how everything looks so in a little over an hour i was able to completely almost empty this drawer and i probably could um let me see let me set y'all down real quick Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. Okay, so here is the top drawer. And this is literally, this slides. And so I could probably just go ahead and put it up here. It makes more sense, don't it? It's just HDMI cables. And we do grab those sometimes. And then it is this old Kindle in here that I do have a charger to. So let me put that in here. And I just put those HDMI cables in this bag because I felt like they were just popping open everywhere. And then I can just pull this closed. And then I have, y'all, this is all these old phones. I can't bring myself to get rid of them for, for whatever reason. And so I just keep those. There's a Garmin. I just need to get that updated um, on the computer. And then those old iPods. I'm going to just slide those over there. I have the space for that so it's not hurting anything. And then I just have extra charging blocks in here that I don't want to get rid of because people come over all the time and have different phones that they need to charge something. Um, so that's that drawer and that literally then just eliminates this drawer to nothing. How exciting! So I don't mind an empty drawer. Here's this side. All that I have in there is my sewing box. So excited about that to get all of that cleaned out and remember I put all of the fabric in this basket. So that's great. Oh, you know what, y'all? Remember when I was trying to figure out what to do with all of this ribbon? I remember now what I was going to do with all of that ribbon. I was going to put that in this box. Come on, camera, focus. I was going to put that in this box up here that's on the buffet. It's empty, so I don't know why I didn't think to... So, okay, so I may go back and do that. Or put the ribbon and all of those patterns in there but they're tucked in there nicely right now so I'm not going to mess with it but I had completely forgot I knew I had a plan but I just you well know, I just couldn't remember so that's what I will do I will probably move those patterns and all of that extra stuff out everything but my um, sewing machine and possibly put it in there I don't know it just looks comfortable in there right now it's not bothering anybody and it's neat and organized decluttered so I'm liking that all right, y'all, I am super excited to have that buffet decluttered and cleaned out. I have been working all through my house. I started literally in my master bathroom, and I have worked my way all the way up to the living room. I didn't film everything else, but trust me, it was a truckload. I took it to my little niece Hayden's birthday party the other day. I let Karen Kelsey go through it, and then I went to my niece's birthday party, and my sister and a bunch of her friends got up in the back of the truck, and they all went through there and got them tons of that stuff they can enjoy, and then the rest went to the thrift store. So I'm excited to get this decluttered. It just goes to show you that if you will put aside a little bit of time, and I don't feel like it would have even taken me an hour if I didn't have to move equipment around and, you know, turn things on and off and stuff like that. So it may be 45 minutes, maybe. But anyway, you can do it. Find you something that you need to declutter. Just get it done. You will feel so much better. My next declutter project is underneath my kitchen sink. I will film it for y'all if you want me to. And then I'm going to declutter my kitchen cabinets again. They're not really bad because I do that pretty often. But underneath my kitchen sink, y'all, mm -hmm, it's 
you'll see but anyway i hope that y'all have a wonderful day we love y'all and we will see you really soon with a brand new video